Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include European Union fast facts German court case could force Euro exit, warns key judge EU countries must be able to sentence hackers to two years, draft law says EU tightens ban on shark finning Plus, in your letters, Mrs Meggie writes with her view on the unit I'm Rick Timmis And this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, here's a look at what you need to know about the European Union. On July 1st, 2013, Croatia is scheduled to join the European Union as its 28th member. The European Union is an international organisation made up of 27 European countries. It governs common economic, social and security policies of its member states. According to the EU website, the objectives of the EU are to establish European citizenship, ensure freedom, justice and security, promote economic and social progress and assert Europe's role in the world. This is an excellent article and gives you a clear potted history of the progress of the EU as it creaks on its journey towards a federal superstate. Crucial hearings on the Eurozone's bailout policies at Germany's top court this week could set in motion events that force Germany's withdrawal from the Euro, a leading judge has warned. Udo de Fabio, the constitutional court's euro expert until last year, said the explosive case on the legality of the European Monetary Union rescue machinery could provoke a showdown between Germany and the European Central Bank and ultimately cause the collapse of the monetary union. Well, I keep saying that it is only a matter of time, and whilst I'm on the topic of monetary collapse, I have not changed my mind on Ireland being the next economy to get thrown to the EU IMF Troika Cerberus. Hackers would face up to two years or more in prison no matter where they live in the European Union under a new draft law approved by the European Parliament's Civil Liberties Committee on Thursday. The proposed rule would prevent EU countries from capping sentences for any type of hacking at less than two years. Meanwhile, the maximum sentence possible for cyber attacks against critical infrastructure, such as power plants, transport networks and government networks, would be at least five years in jail. The EU has agreed to tighten up an existing ban on shark finning, the practice of slicing off a shark's fins at sea for sale to Asian markets. The ban for EU fishing crews has existed since 2003, but with special permits they were still allowed to remove the fins from shark carcasses. Ministers have now agreed with MEPs to eliminate that legal loophole. The Shark Trust campaign group says the EU exports 27% of the fins traded in Hong Kong, a major fin trading centre. In your letters, Mrs Meggie writes, I love your website, the truth at last, and so wonderfully written, terrific. Please give me my democratic vote on in or out, and I will most certainly vote to leave. What fun we will have spending all this money we give them every day. Bring it on as soon as possible. Mrs. Meggie, North Norfolk. We are very grateful for your positive comments, which I have also passed on to Andrew, our webmaster, who was delighted by your words. Your comments and articles are always welcome, so please do keep them coming. Today in our video library, Daniel Hannan enlightens the EU Parliament Chamber with the stark voice of reason, considering the contrast between private ownership of fishing grounds in comparison with regulated fishing grounds, Daniel makes a focused effort to engage the Chamber in some critical thinking. Sadly, it appears his words will fall silent post their echoing, as perhaps you'll note in the video the Chamber is practically empty. What hope is there of reason whilst the kleptocrats whine and dine in the streets of Strasbourg? Neither vision nor wisdom can you offer to those who volunteer themselves to remain blind and deaf. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.
You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google Plus, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google Plus. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>